what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Welcome to a real quick space news for you today. Um, you're looking at the website, whatsupinthesky.com. Come here, sign up. All you got to do is hit register, hit join website. Uh, all we ask is for a couple things. Your email address, your name, and that'll get you on. And uh, all sorts of Come post in the forums. Come check out our forums. Here's articles everywhere. You can, you can search them here. Uh, the forums got so much stuff in them. Um, so many good people have been posting things. You can read it without signing up. Um, but just so much stuff has just been posted in there recently. Let's see what we got about 1,210 messages now on 634 subjects. It's starting to take off, and we're getting more and more users. I think we're up to uh, 526 users. I'm going to start using this for my uh, for some of the live chats that we're going to be doing on uh, Google. Uh, I'm going to do a chat room on here to make it easier for everybody because it seemed like when Chris and I did that. Uh, thing not everybody could chat not everybody could contact us so all right guys this is pretty cool Cirrus back in the spots come back into view this has been out there for a little bit of while trying to find out uh you know a little bit more about it but it's it's definitely getting pretty here um they're back in the view and we're not going to get a, a really good view i don't think for another maybe half month month on this thing i think we're going to be waiting to get it but check this thing out over here they're definitely bright and uh, I don't know what to think about these anymore. You know, they look like they're right on the top of a, like right in the center of a crater. And then there's one right to the to the top of it. Um, it looks very, uh, compared to a lot of the stuff in here, like here you got some rounded off things. It looks very round compared to some of the other things. And that just could be because it's emitting light. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers have been asking for an update on it and want to see the new imagery. If you haven't seen it, here it is. Um, like I said, there hadn't been too much to, to give you other than this. You know, here here's the uh, link. I'm, I'll put the link right here. It gives you the, the NASA details. Basically, the image is the brightest spot and it's companion clearly standing out against their darker surroundings but their composition distortions are still unknown at the time about I got onto the website probably about uh, this is NASA website I'd say what five or six days ago and there was a, uh, a poll you know what do you think this is and when I hit it it was like you know a couple things were the options it was like ice um, some sort of uh, some sort of rock debris, and then the other one was unknown, and the majority of people hit unknown, and it's gone now. I think that I thought that was kind of cool that uh, a lot of people, you know, we don't know what this thing is, and here uh, there's a little animation on here of the actual as it comes through. You can see it. Let me try and make it as big as I possibly can, and uh, you can watch it as it comes around. It's definitely there, and that just kind of comes back. The animation starts back over again. Look how it gets real bright right about there, and it just kind of bomb. There, but then, like I said, then the animation starts over again. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Here is Pluto. This is New Horizons. We're getting some amazing shots of Pluto. We uh, really haven't seen much of Pluto since we, uh, you know, I guess declassified it as a non-planet now. But it looks you can see the. Uh, it's got its moon going around it. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. See, a lot of the countries are... are <laughs> watch out tonight. This is from space.com. Out of control, Russian spacecraft will fall from space overnight tonight. This is Friday, May 8th. An out of control Russian cargo ship is headed for a destructive plunge into Earth's atmosphere overnight between Thursday and Friday. With satellite watchers around the world trying to pinpoint the exact time and place the crafts fall from space. The uncrewed, of course, thank God, it's uncrewed, Progress 59 spacecraft has been falling near Earth just after its launch last week on April 28th on a mission to nearly discover, th oh, wow, on a mission to deliver nearly three tons of supplies to the ISS. It seems like we have all sorts of issues getting stuff to ISS lately. Um, the ESA space debris team re-entry predicts that now shown the re-entry window has shrunk to just include the just the night of Thursday and Friday. So it's going to be hopefully tonight coming in. Um, we can exclude any time after early morning Friday. So if you get this tonight, uh, it might still come down. It looks like it was, uh, at first they thought it might be over top of us. But here's the here's the path. 
Um, I'm in North America, so it could file down here. It could, like I said, it could be uh, a pretty slight coming down, as it would look like most likely a huge uh, meteor coming through. So here we got our people saying, Thursday uh, afternoon, it's impossible to know enough about the recent future state of the spacecraft and space bomber to make these precise predictions. Of course, nobody can give you a time or place, but. Uh, it's pretty neat here. If you want to check it out, I'll put this website link in here as always below. UAE, the uh, United Arab Emirates, says it's on track to send a probe to Mars in 2021. Spacecraft to orbit Red Planet until at least 2023. The investment in space technologies top $5.4 billion. The oil rich uh, United Arab Emirates said Wednesday it was pressing ahead with plans to send the first Arab unmanned probe to Mars by 2021, naming it Hope. I hope it takes off. I tell you, the more people go in, the better, which brings me to my last thing. And ISRO, they've extended their mission. It looks like they've gotten through it. The uh, ISRO launched the uh, rover, uh, launched the uh, orbiter in 2013. And uh, the official mission period was only six months, but now the ISRO has informed the mission period has been increased for another six months. So um, on March 24th, the orbiter has been generating exceptional results, though it's first Mars mission by India. The science also confirmed that this development about the extension of India's first interplanetary mission to orbiter with a weight of about 1340 kilograms can utilize the remaining fuel of 37 kilograms for its further period of Martian atmosphere. The government of India has already informed that the probe will be living beyond its expected lifespan of six months and has fulfilled the expectations of saving the 37 kilograms of propellant. All right, guys. Um, Specially designed Mars color cameras are the most useful payload on board as relayed back breathtaking images of the surface, including mountains, dust, sandstorms, and valleys. Cameras manage to capture more than 300 photos. Now, they've only released 10 to the public. Um, so I'm hoping that India will release the rest of them. Maybe you guys in India, I love you all out there. Maybe you guys can put a little pressure on your government and release them all. You know, that's to hear that there's four, you know, 300 photos out there, and we've only got maybe 13 of them, 10 or 13 of them. Um, push your government. Don't let it end up like ours does, guys. All right, I told you it was going to be a quick space news. If you want more space news on the website under the uh, news thing, we've always got people, my buddies like Ben are in here, uh, all sorts of good people. All You know, people are joining up daily and adding their news. They're putting space news up. They're adding anomalies that they find, all sorts of good things. So much love to you guys. Hope you're having a good one. Weekend's upon us almost. It's uh, Thursday night. Peace.